Let's go! It's Michael Penix, the worst first round pick ever. Mr. Michael Penix Jr. himself. This man's a lefty, but he throws it just right, y'all. You can make a very strong case, and I'm going to show you why on the film. Uh, this never really made a whole lot of sense, okay? Just a quick throw right here. You're hot. There's an unblocked blitzer. Just got to get this out, and well, uh, it it was not a good throw. All right, so we get to here with Michael Penix, and I felt at times in the pocket he could just get awkward, right? So all your routes are going to the right side. So if there's a place that we want you to extend this play, we want you to step up here and roll out this way. And yes, of course, that's thrown across your body, but still, um, you want to go where your routes are going, right? Instead, you roll out to the left. You do see contain get broken. You try and throw to your check down right here, and he just misses him. All right, so now we get to this fourth and seven, and man, this was the miss of the college football season. You can make a very strong case because it's a national championship game. You're down 17 to three. It's fourth and seven. You make the correct but aggressive decision. Yes, there was some pressure here, but you got Roma Dunzi, right? Wide open. I mean, this is as open as you will see, and he just misses him badly. Okay, this is the all 22 angle. All right, so we get to this third and 10 here, 213 left. You're down by two possessions. Of course, you want to get all the yards here, um, but you don't need to get all the yards. You can always go for it on fourth. So he gets back and he's working this deep over route from Jalen McMillan. And he got to kind of sort of like it if this safety you think is going to be caught up with these other routes. So he does like it. He was under heavy pressure. It was just a really, really, really deep, long, terrible throw. And I believe they called pass interference here. Uh, and they did kind of a bailout there. I mean, if you do look at this, though, the shallow drag to Adunzi was open for potentially a touchdown. There was some type of coverage bust right here. And if he hit this, it's a big one. But I don't mind if you like this throw. It just was a bad throw. And I don't, I'm not sure if pass interference really did anything to that. All right, so this right here is just really, really good quarterback play. Good decision uh, to go for it. It's fourth and goal. He locks on to Roma Dunzi. He is doubled. And he's just smothered right here. And he was trying to work a Dunzi on a little whip or whatever the route was. But it's doubled. He stayed on it a little too long. McMillan is open right here. I think the DB thought that the safety was going to be here to the inside. Safety gets caught ball watching. And McMillan is open. He's late getting over to it. But eventually he does find it. So Penix did some good things in this game. But man, uh, it took forever right there. Huh? 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 All right, so... Penix got bailed out by him getting hit because this was an absolutely terrible throw to a motioning running back right here. And yes, he was under pressure. He double pumps his throw to a Dunzi. And then he thinks the corner, Wilt Johnson, who is a really good football player, is jumping this. So off the pump fake, without even really being able to step up into it, only down one possession, this ball was probably going to get picked off anyway, right? And you'll see, because he is not a great thrower to the middle of the field, they barely ever run anything over the middle of the field. Michigan gave that to him quite a bit um, in this game. So, man, this is just not a good throw. This might have still been picked off regardless of it being deflected here. Um, and it is a pick. Uh, you just got to eat that sack, uh, or it should have been a pick. I'm not sure if he actually ended up getting it, but but still. All right, so we get to the third and eight. This is really exotic stuff from Michigan. Um, you know, this is a corner blitz with uh, uh, some edge pressure attached to it. And this tight end leak, pre-snap, you're never thinking this is going to be open just based on the alignment. But it did get open. 
And I don't know what the progression is here. So this safety bails out and bang, okay, walk in touchdown right here, or at least a play down to the goal line to make it, um, you know, 20 to 17 relatively easy in this early in this third quarter. Instead, you get it right here and, you know, you're, you're in field goal range. So you move ahead in this third quarter. Once again, it's a one possession game and you get to this spot. This is just simple smash concept that this corner really plays the flats. You got to get this uh, corner route from the receiver completed. Protection's really good. That really wasn't the case for a good bit of this game. This is as wide open as you'll see it. And he just misses once again. Um, he's open and just nastiness, just really, really, really bad. All right, so first and 15, okay? I understand you're wanting to push this football down the field. You still have both of or all three of your timeouts, and you have a really good pocket to step up into, okay? That's good protection, and I just need this football completed right here to your leaking tight end, and he just misses it. I mean, there's just... So many of these very simple misses, and this ball wasn't even close. So before we get to the final throw here, um, he was actually really good versus Texas, okay? I want to be fair. I mean, the Texas game was a Burrow-level playoff game. Uh, but there was just so many games this year where Penix, you know, the, the team was still able to win, but you got to keep in mind, really good offensive line, Three receivers that are going to get drafted. Really good uh, deep tight end room. Running back who's likely going to be drafted. And an NFL play caller uh, who's going to be with the Seahawks this year. I understand all the other quarterbacks had really good supporting casts outside of May. But, man, you, you take a look at um, this throw right here. All right. Your number one option was right here for this fourth and thirteen. You're never really going to love this with a safety help over the top. But he bailed out really 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 far and he's got Rome right here for a first down now you can't throw this tight end that would be short of the stick so he just kind of chunks it up and it's overthrown and it's picked so this one's not as bad as the others uh but still you look at a guy like QB class a guy that evaluates all the quarterbacks he hates uh Michael Penix and I've seen other people uh you know share their disdain for Penix a guy that won't take over the Atlanta Falcons QB room until he's 28 years of old until he actually beats out Kirk Cousins who you just paid a gazillion dollars to this just did not make any any sense whatsoever I you know on my QB rankings I had Penix as a sixth guy as did many others uh, but then again, my QB rankings and my rankings in general differ for, from a lot of people. But this was, to me, one of the worst NFL draft selections ever. But we'll see if it actually pans out that way. Let's go.